Well, hello, my butterflies. How are you? How is your body? How is your mind? How is your spirit? I want to thank you for choosing to listen to my voice for Pretty Wing Magic's audio journal. Entry number 145, titled, Make It Make Sense. I am your host, Tracy, your spiritual plug. I flip energy and help others do the same. So this week's candle was I am peace, which is for balance, focus, and relaxation. It smells like lavender. And the candle, along with its accompanying incense, can be purchased at prettywingmagic.com. So I want to first apologize for my raspy voice, y'all, but like I've been telling y'all the last few episodes, I'm trying to get it in where I can. And right now, it was just like I woke up early before the alarm goes off. So I'm just hitting the record button real quick. Because I've been trying to record, but I've just been busy. Um, so my apologies if you've been looking for an audio entry. Um, but here we are, nonetheless. So this week's title, Make It Make Sense, y'all, is inspired by the pretty wings of Pretty Wing Magic. My bestie, who's no longer here physically, my Keisha Gant. And what has happened, right? Y'all no, I went back to days. So I've been getting adjusted to that. You know, trying to get my sleep schedule together. I come home just tired, y'all. And it's I'm not complaining at all, right? At all. Just know that. I'm just, exp- you know, this is the transition part of, you know, literally from being a night owl to switching back to, you know, being awake when most of the world is up. So for y'all that don't know where I am now, as far as my day job, where I am, I worked there back in 2017, excuse me, to 2019. And I left that job because of depression, right? Um, Keisha at that time had passed away. And it was just too much um, to walk in that place every day. And it, you know, and sit at the desk that I found out, you know, she was no longer here. And I could just, at this point, I was also very, very sensitive as far as empath, as you know, as far as my um, empathetic abilities or whatever. So I could just see and feel everybody's just... I don't want to use the word sadness, but just like the life had been sucked out of that place. Like I remember telling my therapist, it just seems like, you know, there's just death walking around, right? Like nobody's happy. Like it just feels like, you know, a jail. Like it literally felt like a jail and it was just too much for me. So I took a leave of absence and I came back and tried it again and it just wasn't it. And so I left, Um, even though my manager was like, just, you don't have to quit, just leave, you know, take some more time, take as much time as you need. And I'm the kind of person that's like, 
if I'm going to be at work, I want to give you 110%. And I knew I couldn't do that. Now, what I didn't know is that that place that I was at is one of the most flexible jobs that I've ever had when it comes to taking time off and things like that. Um, So I could have really just took more time and came back when I was ready. Um, But, you know, here we are. And I, you know, I truly believe in, you know, God's timing and God makes no mistakes. And from, you know, 2019 until now, I did a lot, a lot of healing emotionally and mentally, right? Not just for, you know, Keisha, but just, uh, you know, just relationships, period, right? I, you know, my goal was to then be the best friend that I could be. Right. Be the best sister that I could be, be the best daughter that I can be. And I still got work to do in some of those areas. But, you know, it's a lot better than what it used to be. Right. I'm more self-aware and how I play, you know, the roles I play in relationships. So um, make it make sense. So yesterday. Now, mind you, I went to Dave's um, just to give more backstory. The job that I was hired to do. I cannot do yet because I'm waiting on a laptop or whatever. So they have me, you know, doing quote unquote busy work. So I'm at this other team, um, you know, doing a fairly easy job. Again, not complaining whatsoever. It just can be mind numbing sometimes. Right. But I'm okay with that because I'm still getting a paycheck. I'm still getting paid without, you know, supposed to get paid. So it's not bothering me right now. I'm just grateful again to be getting, you know, my body accustomed to being up when the sun is out. <laughs> Excuse me, but any hooses. So yesterday I'm walking, you know, to my desk and I see this big sign that says make it make sense. And I just internally lit up because that was one of Keisha's sayings like she would always say that make it make sense I mean make it make sense you know so I'm like man she's still here you know of course I know she's still here but it's like hey bro you know and to go from you know in 2019 not being able to function because of her memory was just so fresh in that place to now seeing something of her, you know, that reminded me of her and it just light me up, you know, and it's like, oh, thank you, girl. Girl, you know, this is some crazy shit got me back here doing, you know, some easy, you know, just that type of like that, you know, a whole conversation. So yesterday I've also, you know, had a conversation with one of the ladies that I sit next to. We both ended up, you know, being trained together yesterday on a, a uh, on, you know, so with it just being us two in the room, you know, it left room for a conversation. You know, how you doing? Where you been? You know, how you get to here and, you know, what's going on? And so I was telling her, you know, what I just told y'all about, you know, from 2017 to 2019. And she was like, you know, thank you for sharing, you know, because, you know, her story was similar. I'm not going to go into details with hers, but she had also lost somebody. So she's getting back into the swing of things as well. And when I tell y'all, she kind of really reminds me of um, Keisha. And I didn't know, you know, when I first sat down, I was like, "Mm, she kind of reminds me of Keisha. And I'm not putting Keisha on her jacket. It's just that. When it comes to, and I don't know how to explain this, but what I've noticed is that, let me see, and I'm trying to give you an analogy. So there has to be a movie or a cartoon or something out there. I'm not sure if it pops up, you know, later today or whatever, I'll link it in the show notes or whatever, but it's kind of like. Oh, I think it's called, oh, the butterfly effect. Oh, my goodness. Hey, girl. Um, But I believe that movie, if I'm not mistaken, it was like he would enter these realities that were 
different, but seemed so familiar. Like there were so many familiar aspects of it, but it was re- it, at the end of the day, it was still a different reality. And that's kind of what I've been experiencing lately. And I haven't really been able to put into words or make it make sense. It just feels like, okay, I'm in another reality, but there's so many similarities as far as the characters that are in this reality, right? The energies that are in this reality are so familiar, but the circumstances are different. So that's kind of, you know, what I felt when um, I met her. And then as I was talking to her yesterday, it was even more like, okay, I can kind of see her, you know what I'm saying, being... Um, I want to say an earth angel or just somebody that, uh, vibrationally matches, you know, as a vibrational match, right? Like she was mentioning about faith and, you know, God getting her through. Y'all know I love talking about God, y'all, <laughs> or whatever. Um, but yeah, so it's really just to keep this short and sweet. I just wanted to get on here and thank Keisha for showing up you know, in the way that she did. And like the girl I was talking to, I was letting her know, you know, like about the make it make sense sign. And she was like, you know, how crazy is that, that, you know, somebody put that sign up there for a whole different reason, not knowing that, you know, you would see it one day and it would mean so much to you. And I was like, I know, right? Like, that's crazy. But I know, you know, it's like if for me, it's that reminder that she's still, you know, like, hey, girl, what we doing today? You know, like I'm walking down these aisles with you. I'm with you. You know, I'll still see you and all these things. And I was like, I know. And like, for instance, um, it's just, you know, it just feels like, like I said, when I see my spirit team, no matter where I go, it's like, how do y'all show up like this everywhere I go? in different circumstances but y'all show up the same way that's the crazy part y'all show up the same way to where I know it's y'all you hear me I know it's them no matter where I'm at you see and that's kind of like not kind of but that's how God works no matter where you are God is there no matter what situation you're in God is there right and we know God is love so no matter what situation you in, love is there. Even if you don't feel like it is there, I promise you it's there. Giving you a big old bear hug when you are ready to receive it. When you are ready to receive it. When you are ready to receive it. Because when I left the IRS at 20, well, I told y'all where I'm at now. But when I left that job in 2019, Keisha was there. Still with me. But I couldn't receive it because I wanted her there physically. Even though I knew. Right? As a spiritual plug, I know. They always here. Energy don't die. It just trans- It just transforms. Into something else. But I wasn't open to receive the fact. And accept life with you know life as it is without her here physically. I wasn't ready. But as I've healed. And you know accepted you know the situation for what it is. And things like that. It's like. I can you know I can talk about her. And not get emotional. I can talk about the situation and not be upset, you know, not be angry, not be disappointed, not be sad. Like I can talk about it for just what it is. She's no longer here physically. Things happen. She's not the first person to transition. She won't be the last. It's a part of life. And talking to the lady at work, you know, it was just like, I don't want to say the word confirmation, but it was just good to know, like, the words that she gave me is kind of what it made me feel good. I'm not going to get into the words that she gave me. That's, you know, between me and her, but 
she said some things that made me feel really good about where I was in my journey. And for that, I'm thankful. And I think I'm going to tell her that today. Um, Yeah, I think I'm going to tell her that today. But that's it. I really don't want to keep y'all long. I just wanted to come in and check in when I could. Like I said, I apologize for the raspy voice. But it was like I had I wanted to record yesterday. I'm like, and this is another thing how Keisha showed up. I was like, I ain't got nothing to talk about. I'm going to hit the record button and ain't nothing really, you know, hit me that, you know, it's like outside of my norm that I need to talk about or that I need to document. Right. I said that that morning, like I, and I get to work and it's like, I see that sign. And mind you, I walked down this hallway for the, all week, for the last two, three days, I walked down this hallway and didn't see that sign. And yesterday I saw two signs that said, make it make sense. I'm like, hey girl. Then I get home, scroll my phone, YouTube, random video, um, the channel, I believe it's the channel. Yeah. It's called make it make sense. I said, okay, girl, I see you, girl. I'm going to hit record because I need to document this experience. <laughs> and I need to see where the moon is and all of that because I don't know if we had, you know, if we under a Leo moon, but I know sometimes when we are under a Leo moon, her energy is just, you know, that much more present. So it's kind of like, hey, girl, I'm here. So I need to check and see where we are astrologically as well. Um, you know, again, to make it make more sense. But like I said, she always, you know, my spirit team always shows up when I need them. And they all show up at different, you know, for different reasons. Right? Like, I told y'all, you know, my granny showed up when I was going through it. You know, and as your friends, you know, Keisha shows up. I'm not going through it, but let's hang out. You see what I'm saying? So it's just different energies, and that's how God works. God's going to give you what you need in any given moment. So I didn't need, like, that granny, you know, support. You know, I'm thankful for it at all times. I didn't need, like, the hard lessons, right? I just came out of that dark space. Well, I've been out of that for a minute now, but, you know, I was in that dark space for a while. Came up out of that. Now I'm feeling good, feeling free, feeling loved. You hear me? And it's like, okay, Bessie, let's hang out. You, hear, you see what I'm saying? So I'm just grateful um, for so many things. So, so grateful for so many things. But I just, like I said, I wanted to get on here and um, just tell y'all what happened. Pretty Wing, a Pretty Wing Magic showed up in a way that you know, was new in a way that was different, right? And like I said, it in a way that in the past, if she would show up, you know, in a way like through other people, I would get attached. I would want to cling on and not let go. But that's not me now. Like now it's just like, I know she just used, you know, this experience, you know, of to, of where I am at this job to say, hey, how you doing, girl? We ain't talked in a while. What's going on? You straight? And I've come to find out I'm good. Like, I've made peace with, like I said, with what happened. So that's it. That's all, y'all. That's it. That's all. Know that no matter where you go, God is there. Love is there. Your ancestors is there. Your spiritual besties are there. You hear me? Just be open to receive it. Receive them. Because I promise you when you do, your life will change. How you see life will change. Your reality will change. Mm-hmm. Q, uh, Sam Cook's change gonna come. I remember I just listened to that song and cry because I felt it so deeply. And change has come, and change feels good, right? When you accept the change for what it is, right? 
like I told you, even if it ain't, you know, it don't look the same. It don't look how you think it's supposed to look. I promise you, if you open to receive the change and really trust God with the change that he's putting you through. Once that acceptance kick in, you be like, dang, life is good. It'll feel like it just happened overnight. When it really didn't, because, you know, one thing is with these audio genres, I'm able to go back and just see how long it took for the change to take place. Message for me. I told a soul sister of mine, actually the co-host of Same Shit Different Day, um, that it feels like I just woke, I can't really put my finger on it. It just feels like one day I woke up and I was this different person. But I'm going to go back today and listen to my audio journals while I'm working so I can kind of really put the look make it make sense put these pieces to the puzzle together and figure out you know just for my own knowing it's not a big deal right I'm just happy the change has come but I just want to make it make sense so I can say hey to myself okay I see what you did there you did this you know showed up at this time like I just just me I love puzzles and our life is just like one big puzzle. So I'm just about to put some puzzle pieces together. That's all. But it's not a big deal. It's not serious or anything like that. It's just something fun for me that I consider fun for me to do. Um, so I'll be listening to my previous audio, audio journals probably from, I don't know. I got eight hours of work to do. So we'll see. <laughs> but any who's is, um, next week's Kando will be ooh next week's candle will be let's see I want to say part of me wants to do I am protected just because Keisha came through you know I know she be covering me y'all And the other part of me wants to do I am love. Um, Matter of fact, no. Because Keisha's candle, we're going to do Keisha's candle, which is I am adjusting. Which is for joy, restoration, and stability. Joy, restoration, and stability. That candle scent is coconut, lime, verbena, or verbana. I don't know how you pronounce that word. But it's a very light scent. But it's very, the scent is powerful right like you're gonna smell it but it's a I'm getting like light and flowy um you know again like when you when you are able you know joy restoration and stability like when those those heavy weights of the world are lifted off your shoulders and you feel lighter like that's what that scent feels like right um And it can be purchased along with the incense at prettywingmagic.com. I want to thank you so much for listening. Know that you are love. You are peace. You are enough. You are protected and you are forever adjusting. Be love. Be well. <laughs>